Welcome to Fret Night, my name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the Entry Level Metal Series. This is the second episode. Mm -hmm. So, we got lots to go over tonight. It's not going to take but a few minutes, but we want to go over some stuff. So, we told you on episode one that we would be reviewing the Mitchell, and we do kind of have a, a mix of it for you. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think we're reviewing it tonight, because just out of the blue, I happened to go back to Guitar Center... I know other people sell this, and this guitar costs us $249. It falls within our entry-level price point. Mm -hmm. I looked at Guitar Center today, and miraculously, this guitar has been moved to $399.95. $399. So, hmm. I tried to check around the country to find if maybe it was just Guitar Center doing that, because this is their home guitar or whatever, you yep. know, their series or whatever. Everybody else is at $399. The only way I see this guitar at $250 and under is if it's a restock. You know, in other words, somebody had a problem with it or whatever, and they've yeah. redone it. So for the purposes of this series, we're going to bypass this guitar. Now, we are going to let you hear it in the mix, mm -hmm. but we're not going to talk about it. And we're going to stick it on the third series because yeah. it'll be a little bit higher, but... Here's the reason, guys. We're at an entry level. Mm -hmm. This would be entry level at two fifty. But if you're talking about spending four hundred dollars, you open the floodgates to a lot of other guitars. And I don't know if it's fair to compare because ultimately only the person winning it would get it for two fifty. We paid two fifty. Yeah. If somebody saw this, liked it, they gotta go pay four hundred bucks. Yeah. I don't know if it's fair to say. The $199 guitar is not as good as the $300. You know what I mean? Right, or vice yeah. versa. So I think we're going to move this one to season or season three, chapter three, yeah. whatever that happens to be, and be the next series. So we have a different guitar we're reviewing tonight. Thanks everybody for the comments, mm -hmm. man, for the likes, the shares, for the subs. You guys are amazing. Um, the Jackson. I think we've kind of made a decision since so many people are getting on and getting to be a part of this. This video is coming out on Thursday, and I think we're going to, as soon as this video hits, we're going to publish another one, and we're going to publish the winner of the Jackson. Nice. This will be the second guitar we give away. I can't guarantee you it's going to be in seven, eight, nine, seven, eight days like the Jackson has, but we've had so many people hit us up and so many people excited. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of the people in the comments are, are new. Yeah. Trying to learn, don't mm -hmm. have the money to get a guitar. Man, that's what we want. You yeah. know, we want to help somebody. So I just gotta say it's pretty cool just to see everybody comment and, and you know excited for it. Yeah, I, and I, I mean yeah. they're sharing it to Facebook. It's mm -hmm. being shared everywhere, you know. So I had a guy message earlier and he's like, I don't I don't have a Facebook, I don't have this. So how am I supposed to share it? I'm like, You got a YouTube channel, don't you? And he's like, Well, yeah, but it's just for gaming. I'm like, stick it on there. It yeah. don't matter, just stick it on there. Mm -hmm. So uh, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to shut up, don't get mad at us, and we're going to let you hear the Mitchell in the mix. Mm -hmm. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to do specs or nothing. When we come out of the mix, we're going to show you this guitar, and that's what we're reviewing tonight. Yep. And if you find one of those Mitchells still at that 250 price range, Man, I think that 250 price range for that guitar is pretty dang good. Yeah, if you're looking for something in the entry level area and you can find it at 250, and but I searched today. Now everybody's in different parts of the country, the world. Maybe you still can find it at that price, and if you can, that's fine. So when we do it on phase three or the third chapter, whatever you want to call it, whatever we name that one, it'll be a no brainer yeah. if you can compare it to 400 dollars guitars. You know. Mm -hmm. So all right, so we're gonna shut up and let you hear it in the mix.
Okay, welcome back. Um, yep. Got a chance to hear it in the mix. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the... You've been playing it, too. Yeah. What do you think about the... I mean, for 250 bucks, I thought that was kind of a steal. I'm, yeah. I'm not really a... Listen, guys, I've owned a lot of Les Pauls in my life. I've owned them big old heavy brick things and jumped around on stage with them and got back problems and all that good stuff. So uh, I understand all the good things. I've never had, no matter what I paid, and I've had some of the nicest that they make. I've never had a Gibson where the G string would not, would stay in tune. Yeah. It's just that practice you've got to retune. You know what I mean? Especially if you're bending any of that. But long story short, I really think that um, Mitchell, for what you're getting, at 250 bucks was a really good deal. Mm -hmm. But since they've moved it to $400, if our viewers want to go see it, I think it's better to just put it aside. So you are holding a Donner. Yes, this is the Donner. So this puts us back where we need to be in our $199, probably to $250 price range. Um, we're going to let you hear this in a mix. Now, there's not a ton of specs on this. Um, Everything on this, I believe, is poplar. It's got a poplar top, poplar back. It has a maple neck. Um, and I forget what they said, that Jacoby or something fretboard. No, no, no. That one is rosewood. Rosewood? That's actually a rosewood, I think. Or a kin. Or maybe a, one of the cousin woods of rosewood. Rosewood-like. Yes. Esque. It has a very skinny neck. Yeah. Um... It doesn't have locking tuners. It does have a fixed bridge uh, string through, which is always great for sustain. Uh, it, it really, to me, it helps out tone, i.e. the reason I, I choose hip shot on yep. everything. Um, we got this guitar because of the reviews on it, because of the price point, and because I, I got this when they make a couple different versions, but I've never really seen kind of a, a reverse gradient. Not a big fan of purple, but I, we didn't have a purple guitar. It don't so look too bad. I mean, it looks it, pretty good. It's got a little sparkle, mm -hmm. like a little, you know, metal flake in it, and um, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's comfortable. You know, it sits pretty much in the pocket. Yep. It's got a nice little cutout right here. The cutout on the back just cups you pretty yep. nice. So, you know, I can't complain as far as comfortability and playing. So it has a... Um, um, a really thin neck, kind of a C, mm -hmm. kind of what everybody kind of tries to motivate or, you know, go towards now, a, kind of a, a skinny C neck. Um, we haven't had any problems playing it. We've had it for a couple of weeks. Uh, this guitar and every guitar in the entry level series, do yourself a favor. If you go buy one, have the people where you buy it set it up. If you win one, Take it to the luthier, spend 30 bucks. And here's another thought. The difference between some entry-level guitars, the strings that come on them, if you need to keep them on there a day or two to play or whatever, that's one thing. Yeah. Man, go put some real strings on there. You ain't got to break the bank. Kind of like the spare tire in the back of your car, yeah, you know? Yeah, <laughs> just go, go put some good strings. It'll change up the way the pickups sound. Uh, good strings just do, uh, even on a, a high-end guitar with the new strings and you get old, dull strings, it changes, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So nothing to say nothing about these strings. I don't have a clue what they are or, you know, how they make them or anything. But I would tell you this, if you're buying something at this price point, you're probably not getting the upper echelon yeah. of strings. Yeah, it, it, it would do good to put, you know, a good fresh set of strings on them. And, you know, it's, again, like you said, no, not slamming them by any means. They'll get you by. Yeah, and you can play them for a while, maybe a week or two or whatever, but I think you'll notice a big difference, man. You put a good set of strings. Get mm -hmm. you some Diodarios, some Elixirs. Get something. I don't care. Just get something. Yeah. Some boomers. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Just put something on them. All right, so here in just a second, we're going to let you hear this in the mix. This will be the guitar to give away on the second one. As you see, it's still got the tags, everything. Mm -hmm. It does come in a gig bag. There is a few other little things in the gig bag, or I haven't opened the other part, but at least it said that on the website. So we've kept the box that it came in. Just like we told you, we're going to turn right around, change the shipping label if you win this, and we're going to send this directly to you with your very own personal fret knot sticker on the box. Yeah, buddy. 
So we talked about a little bit in the, in the first episode. We want to make sure if you win, we would love to have a picture with you in the box when you mm -hmm. get it. Cool. Maybe a picture with you in the guitar. If you don't mind being YouTube famous or whatever you call it. Yeah. Because we would love to show our viewers, new and old, that we do what we say. We're, we're doing this for the right reason. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you've been playing it. What do you think about it? Pretty nice. It's not bad. It's got some speed to it. It's got a pretty nice attack in terms of the sound. It's not mm -hmm. terrible. Um, I think you know, like you said, there's it needs a little uh, a little TLC on the neck and strings, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of the action. So that's that's where it comes in to take it to to a luthier or something like that. And uh, I mean, take it to Guitar Center. Take yeah. it to Merry Go Round. It doesn't matter. Just take it somewhere and say, Hey, man, can you set the intonation? Set the bridge. You know. Put the action to where it's comfortable, especially if you're just starting out. If you're just learning to play guitar and the strings are that far off the neck, you're doing it wrong, brother. <laughs> yeah. Sister, you're doing it wrong. Yep. Go have them set them strings down closer to the neck. Uh, it'll make your life. Trust me, I learned on a, a horrible scenario like that. Right. And but, uh, uh, it, it'll really make your life better. I can't complain too much for, for the price. You know? So it's 199 bucks. Mm -hmm. I think it's, in my opinion, they're going to hear it in a second. I think it's more of the rock yeah. genre where the Jackson might have even been able to kind of flip-flop between that rock and that mm -hmm. easy part of, of heavier metal. Yeah. You know what I mean? The way yeah. those pickups are, I think these are more of a rock pickup. Mm -hmm. But, hey, you know, you could put it on a processor and uh, you can make that guitar sound any way you want to, but yep. it just... Keeping the same patch, mm -hmm. to me, you hear a little bit more aggression on mm -hmm. the Jackson side. Not to yeah. say they sound better, but there's a little more aggression. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do now, once again, we're going to shut up and let you hear it in the mix. And we'll be right back, and we'll tell you a little something about this, and we're going to tell you what's coming up after this. Okay, we're back. So you got to hear it in the mix? Oh, yeah. Um, maybe you can tell. I tell you, here's something you can do on this video. Not trying to make the video long. When you get through watching the whole video, go back, play the clip of the, uh, the Mitchell, Mitchell mm -hmm. and then play the clip of this one. Yeah. And listen to the difference in the tone. Uh, don't get mad at me, but it's the same, same song. Because mm -hmm. I wasn't writing, to, we wasn't creating two different well, deals it, tonight, it and we didn't a, know all this was going to happen until the end. It gives a good base for cross reference. It right, does, you know, right it there does. in one video, you can go back and really see what two different guitars sound like back to back on the same patch. Yeah, and you same I'm song. I'm not saying even, the so. Mitchell is better. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that I don't. I, I wanted to review the Mitchell tonight. I wanted to give the Mitchell away. Mm -hmm. I think bang for buck, that particular guitar. Now I'm not saying the one they send you in the mail. I put my hands on that at Guitar Center. There was three of them, and that's the one I picked. Yeah. And yes, it's kind of blue. So yes, I probably, that had something to do with the influence, because I love blue. But it felt the best. The tuners felt the best. Mm -hmm. There really wasn't no difference in playability, but long story short, that's the one I picked. So, um, but it's it'd be really wrong for me to send you on a mission and go, oh, you can buy this for 250 and you get to the store and it's 400 so I'm not going to do that to you, but we will review it and we will give it away. Mm -hmm. So it's that easy. All right. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to, what, what do we want to do next? So we've done the Jackson. We're doing the Donner. We have the IYV. 
we have the SBS mm -hmm. and we have the monsoon. Yeah. You want to do the Leo one. James? You seem to like that Leo James. Yeah, that was not too bad. I can be okay, the next we'll one. be right back and we're going to show you what's coming up in episode three of this series. Okay, we're back. So, this is the Donner. This is the baby that you can win on this video. Mm -hmm. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Put the word done in the done. comments. Do you do all of the <laughs> do you win? <laughs> D O N E, please. Okay. Anyway, so this will be this is episode two. This is what we're talking about tonight, but you're getting a sneak peek of what's coming up next week. Check it out. This is the Leo James. This is the monsoon. The monsoon. Now put that up real fast. Yes. Some people think this they're winning that too. Sneak peek. Sneak peek next week. Hey, that rhyme. Yeah. Thanks everybody for watching, man. We're just uh, humbled by uh, everybody's comments, the likes, the shares. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just amazing. We had this idea a while back and we just felt like we could help some people mm -hmm. and maybe some people would get on board. I kind of had a little bit of a nightmare in the back of my head. So we'll be doing this for six, eight months <laughs> and out of soul to watch them. Right. But hey, you guys are amazing, man. Yeah. So episode two, like the video, share the video, subscribe if you're not. Put mm -hmm. the word D-O-N-E in the comments. This baby may be coming to you. Yep. Until next time, guys. Stay tuned.